Hey everyone, you're watching this video because you want to know how to get a free backend from Simple Rick's low code hosting. So this is just a quick video to show you how it's done. Um, at the time of recording this video, the service is very, very basic, just getting started. So I just wanted to show how it works at the moment and then I'll record new videos in the future when I add new services. So, oops, I'm gonna sign out first, that'd be better. Um, so go to simple dash ricks dash low dash code dash hosting.com. If you're a Rick and Morty fan, you'll appreciate that. And uh, go to sign up. And I'll put in, I'll, I have to create an account. Oh, I already have an account. Okay. Let's test that. That, that, that. Put in a nice safe password. Okay, so at the moment, all you can do is click on create a backend and a backend will appear here and then you can use the backend. So it's just, it saves you a lot of time having to set it up on um, something like Docker locally or whatever. At least you'll have a backend here that's always running. Um, and in the future, I'll have things like being able to restart your backend or pause it or something like that and whenever you're not using it. And, um, you know, obviously where you set up your backend in with the noodle backend is not really that big a deal because you can migrate to AWS one day if you want to because you have the database schema which I'll show you in a minute how to get that out and you can download that as CSV so you can do a database migration pretty easily and um, otherwise I think there's also a way of doing like database dumps where I can actually go in if you email me and just ask me say like I've been using your backend for a month and I've got loads of data in there and really the whole system's really um, defined. And then I can probably do some sort of database dump and, and I'll, I'll figure it out and I'll I'll get uh, in contact with you directly to, to send you the files that you need to migrate your database to somewhere else, wherever it is. But as long as you, you know this backend is the open source backend, it's going to be the same whether you set it up on AWS or Google Cloud Platform or in your own Docker, it's the same architecture. So it's all compatible between exporting schemas and importing things. You're not going to have a problem. So just click on create a backend. Hopefully it works. Um, I put this up because it's going to show you the backend address straight away, but it's like the backend address that I've assigned to the container that I'm running on my server. But it takes the, the container about 30 seconds. I'm working with any at n, so it's running different processes in the background to set it up and configure it um, and secure it. Um, so it takes about 30 seconds. So don't try to access it straight away. Uh, wait for like 30 seconds before you do. But essentially this is, we're going to set it up already. Um, this is the endpoint address and this is your app ID and master key. So keep these safe. Probably shouldn't put these, like <laughs> display these on the internet, but like, yeah, I'll delete this one afterwards or something, or you can just hack it. I don't care, whatever. Um, and we're going to take this and we go into our noodle editor. So I'm using the open noodle editor 1.0.0, uh, which is a copy of the open source noodle editor 1.0.1, which is their versioning versus my versioning. Um, but they're the same editor. So all the, nothing has changed. This is exactly the same editor. So what you're seeing here is the same as if you're using the noodle open source, or if you're using my version open noodle or the, the low code foundations version. So we'll go to um, in cloud services tab, Click on plus at available cloud services. Put in a name, so something easy to remember, like um, my test backend, whatever. You can put in a description if you have more details you want to give about that backend. Some tags you want to put on there. So paste in the endpoint from Simple Rick's hosting. Go back, get the app ID, paste in the app ID, get the master key, paste in the master key. So at the moment, I'm, I, I'm not, I don't have a way to let you change these things yet. But in the future, I'll, I'll maybe make a system where you can define your own application ID master key. If you think that's a good idea and you want to give me feedback, please feel free to give me feedback. I love feedback. Um, so get in touch, reach out to me on Discord or by email, whatever you want. And we'll go create a new cloud service. And if everything has worked, then we go to a cloud service here. If it's not already, click use in editor. That means that this cloud service will be the one that your editor uses to do all the tests. So any page where you query some data, this is the one that it will use or where it set, tells you to select a class and a query, it'll use the classes that are from the backend that you've clicked use in editor. 
So there at the top, it says self-hosted used in editor. And now we can actually open it up. And in theory, yeah, we see a backend. So that's just been generated and um, we can add all the usual things to use it like a, a usual noodle backend. And like I said, if ever um, something like, you know, if something goes wrong, if um, you're not happy with the service or whatever, then you can just go to open up your backend, go to uh, edit and go to export schema. And that will export you a JSON file from memory that you can go to a different instance of the same noodle backend. So say you've just set it up in AWS, you're using app runner or you set it up in Docker or whatever, open up that backend, click import schema, find the JSON file, and it'll apply all of the different classes, all of the different um, fields. What it won't do, I think, is import the config. So if you have config files and you have to manually take those over and, and copy and paste them into the new backend. Um, and then the, the data itself, you can actually just, um, where is it? Uh, let's create a, create a test row. Oh, okay. Yes, 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 yes. And then we can do this and where's export? Am I going crazy? Oh, export. Big button there that says export. Yeah, okay. So you can export all the data from the different classes and then um, I guess import. How would you import the data? Oh. I will figure that out and get back to you. But at least you can export the data from my backend and you can bring it over to your backend. And I'm sure there's a way that you can kind of automate the import process. I'll look into it. And if you want to do that, just get in touch with me. It's the easiest thing and I'll help you. But yeah, anyway, you've got your backend. You can now start querying things, start adding classes and fields and whatever. Um, the data is stored in a MongoDB securely on my server. You've got your own collection in that MongoDB that's um, unique to you and is not accessible by anybody else. So um, just get cracking. And if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm very happy to answer questions and help. And that's the whole idea of community and free stuff. So um, just uh, keep in touch and I hope you enjoy. Thanks.